Hey Cactus friends, it's Jenny from Cookies Cacti. Forgive me for all the road noise, but I'm right next to a really busy road. I had the day off today from work, so I took a trip down to Tucson, Arizona to Box Cactus Nursery. It's one of my favorite nurseries in the Tucson area. Actually, it's one of my favorite nurseries, period. It's about an hour and a half away from Chandler, Arizona. So it's just a little bit fur far out for me to come here all the time, but when I do have a chance to come out here, it's always a treat. So I am going to take you into the nursery. We're going to do our usual shopping, and it's a really massive nursery, so I probably won't be able to go as slow as I usually do. I'll do the best that I can, but we'll walk through things, and I'll try to show you prices and guess we'll figure things out so you'll see what I mean pretty soon all right so I hope you enjoy the shopping trip So this is one of their greenhouses that has retail plants in it and you can see how massive it is. Because if you remember when I was in Apache Junction at B&B Apache Cactus, that was like a tenth of this size. And so you know, I'm not going to be able to take really slow video and show everything and show all the plants and all the pricing because it's going to be a seven hour long video so i'm just going to walk through these tables like i normally do when i come here to go shopping um, and we'll just have to do the best that we can i also want to be respectful of other customers in the space so i'm going to try to avoid getting other people in the shops they've got some astrophytum here these are $14. These are really good size. You're going to see a lot of astrophytum today. All right, so I'm just going to have to walk these tables like I normally do. This is a one of my favorite nurseries in Tucson. Highly recommend it to come by if you're in the area. They have just a gigantic inventory of plants and a lot of variety and, in my opinion, really good prices too. So here's another set of plants. This is where I got my first Matucana. It's from here. Still doing great. I think this one has no spines on it. Some of these have prices written on them, some of them don't. Copiapoa humilis. More Matukana. I don't have one of these, the Ubelmania pectinifera. It's a very reasonable it's a very reasonable price. Don't touch that.
This is the roadkill cactus, Consolia rubescens, the one in my uh, propagation video. We have a lot of like five, six dollar plants, very affordable. Serraro, five dollars. These are twenty-five dollars. They're what? Dead Moza, Rodeo Central, I think. Some of my favorite plants to visit here are actually these really big ones that look like they've been in here for a long time. And I have bought, I think, a couple of these types of plants. To me, it's always a treasure hunt to see who's still here because they're usually very reasonably priced. And they're very mature, as you can tell. Pretty. Oh, look, there's little fruits on here. These are that. Five dollars. This is really pretty. Oh, that Moza Rodea Cantha. I guess I read that wrong. On that previous pot. Here's another pile of like the very mature plants that might have been here for a while like this. I swear I've seen this before and almost wanted to take that one home. There's another pile of them as well. Oh, just look at this. Isn't that incredible? Back in that area is a lot of the propagation that they're doing, so those are still rooting. But pretty much like two-thirds or halfway back and forward is all retail. They also have wholesale program for wholesale buyers, and they have another section of the property that is for wholesale buyers, but I'm not a wholesale buyer, so these are all retail. I think they have about 10 acres on this property. It's so pretty. This is really pretty too. Actually, from what I've learned is at Arizona Cactus Sales, a lot of those Astrophytum came from here many years ago. I think they bought up a huge amount of them. Um, and then they have, may have been grafts. So they degrafted them, rooted them. Um, and those are many of the, uh, especially like the large Astrophytum hybrids. 
And then many of those $15 plants come from here from years ago. Um, when I take you into the retail area uh, inside, it's like they have like a collector's section, you'll see some plants that kind of have that same style as the ones that we've seen at Arizona Cactus Sale. So that's the reason why. The malaria candida. These are nice. Look at that. Probably Mammillaria bombacina is what I'm guessing. So pretty. Look at these. So every time I come here, I'll walk the aisles of all of these tables, usually a lot faster than this, just to see what's, uh, what's in stock, because their inventory changes all the time, which is part of what's so fun about coming here. Box is about an hour and a half away from where I live in Chandler. You don't quite have to enter into the heart of Tucson to reach the, this nursery from the north side, so it's the closest Tucson nursery to my house so I always end up finding myself here or like on the way back from somewhere in Tucson I'll stop by and I have many plants from this nursery like here's another no more of these I have been here for a long time I think this was the first nursery in Tucson that I went to when I was first getting into cactus and when I came onto the property I was like completely blown away with how much inventory they have and they're a very well known nursery in the area so um, they have the customer base to support it. Lots of feral cactus here, look at that. I don't even know how much that is. I'm kind of glad that there's the hour and a half buffer between my house and the nurseries in Tucson because if there wasn't, I would be in huge trouble. Cactus, probably Covellii or Emery. Ferrocactus Glaus Glausens? Glauskins? Golden barrels for days. Oh, so, so it's a uh, Gymnocalisium spigazzini. $15. Just more golden barrel. See, these are rooting right now, so this is all their propagation area. Lots and lots and lots of totem pole cactus. I'm not going to walk through all of this. But pretty. Like a forest of totem pole cactus and other columnars back there. But I'm not going to walk back there for now. Otherwise, I will never get out of here. Let's walk over here to these center tables. That's pretty, very pretty. That I'm guessing that's probably thirteen dollars. How pretty that is! I see tons. I think those are probably all wholesale or propagations. So I'm not going to walk um, those tables over there. Over here, lots of aloe. 
see. I'm still learning not to move my camera too fast, and I really apologize if I make people dizzy. I just still very new to making videos and holding a camera and talking to myself like when there's other customers who walk in I get really self-conscious about them hearing me talk to myself and malaria and other stuff Ooh, look, it's blooming. This is some sort of fallow cactus, I think, if I'm reading. Oh, no, no, sorry. What is this? Oh, it's Turbini Carpus something. So pretty. Look at what I'm looking at from here. Barrow cactus. And that's probably mellow cactus there. And other stuff mixed in. I could be wrong. Agave here. Maybe some sort of trichocereus here. Maybe. Solaro, I think. <laughs> Lots of qualifiers there. Ooh. I always like looking at these random pots here. That feeling of treasure hunting. More pharaoh cactus. Golden barrels. And then my favorite old plants. I have one of these that I picked up before. Be fine. Ooh, it's moving. Ooh, look at these. Ferrocactus glaucusens inermis, so without spines. It's not too bad, to say. I don't have one of these. I have the ones with the spine. Ooh, look at that. And these like six inch pots, I'm guessing is probably 13 or $15. It's just my guess. Saguaro. Let's see over here. These are Philea. Uh, you read that. Cata. Racta? I don't have Ferlea either. I haven't quite gotten into them yet. They're very pretty. But I don't think they're very long living. I wonder what that is. Maybe a Turbinicarpus of some sort. Very affordable, five dollars. Ferro cactus. Not sure what that is. Maybe mammalaria of some sort? Gymnospina maybe? No idea. Look 
Look how old and fluffy that one is. Noto cactus, this one, $13, yeah, six inch pot. Probably Mammillaria spinosima. I don't know what that is, but it's very pretty. So, probably Pelosocereus. Some species, which I have never, goes in one ear and out the other. We have lots. Oh, these are all agave, but I think that they are rooting right now. See, that's the propagation I was talking about for agave. One plant turns into a hundred plants. This is Copiapoa humilis, most likely. Don't know what that is. Ooh, look at that. Some astrophytum, probably ornatum, with some hybrid in it. It's fifty dollars. More Copiapoa. So, oh, it's getting narrow. Let's go to the other side. More plants over here. I think there's a bunch of not for sale plants back there. this. I don't know, but it's cool. Looks like it has a codex. I don't know what this is. Never heard of it. It's cute. Ooh, it's pretty. Probably gymnocolysium of some sort. All right, let's walk over here. Probably an organ pipe cactus native to Arizona. Some sort of cleistocactus, probably. Some big mammy, mammillaria there. Or pharaoh cactus and barrels, mammillaria. Copiapoa, golden barrels. More mammillaria here. Pharaoh cactus, probably. These are probably mellow cactus. Pharaoh cactus. Probably Mammillary candida. Oh, this is pretty clumping. Probably some sort of Mammillaria, maybe. Here. Oh, Pharaoh Cactus Schwartzii, six dollars. More Mammillaria. Well, I've never heard of this. Bullii. I'm not gonna try pronouncing that. I have one of these. Really cute, pretty easy plants. It's for me. Notocactus linen housei. I think I'm accidentally growing some of these from seed. I don't remember what they are. Some columnars. This is probably Stetsonia corine or toothpick cactus. Blue Choya. Ooh, these spiral cactus. So 175. Probably five gallon, I'm guessing. A lot of these are not for sale.
Look how pretty that is. Myrtillo Cactus Geometrizons Monstros. $25 for a gallon pot. It's so blue and waxy. Mammalaria. Mammalaria. Probably old lady cactus, but I'm not sure. See how fuzzy it is? It's pretty. More matukana. Sad matukana medicine you are. I'm six dollars for that. It's almost the same as the big box store prices. It's really, really reasonable. So they have a bunch of their gallon plants here, and there's more outside, although a lot of them are covered because of the very cold weather coming in at night. So let's see what we can get on camera. Um, I think these might be $13 each in the gallon pot, but I'll have to go confirm. It's really fun to look through these because they have a lot of variety. Oh, look how big that is. The tephro cactus, it's in a gallon pot. Let's see if I can get, wow, look at that. That would be, oh, it's huge. I have bought these gallon plants, um, even way back when I just started with cactus and it's still alive. These are so fun to look through. That looks like variegation, probably. Maybe, that's pretty. It doesn't look damaged, it doesn't look like sun stress. Hmm, look at that. Let's see. Sorry, I have to move the, through these at a certain speed or I will never be out of here. Look at these aloe. $110. Oh, those are so pretty. Look at the stripes on there. And it's in bloom. These are not for sale. Mellow cactus with the cephalium. Mammalaria, ferro cactus. Oh, look, totem pole cactus. Mammalaria plumosa, there, I think. The feathery, feathery spines. Ooh. That might be like an extra furry Haniana old lady cactus. Look at that. I wonder what cons what's considered like a superba type because that's really fuzzy. Ooh, look. This one's got pups all over it, or a lot of these do. And this is splitting into like four heads. That's cool. Okay, let's go outside. Let's take one last pan around here inside this big greenhouse. And then let's go outside and see what they have uncovered. All right, let's do that. Oh, look, they've got some euphorbia here. Oh, that's not euphorbia, but these are all euphorbia. I think somebody has purchased these because it's got a green ribbon around it. Good choice.
All right, so they have some of their tables uncovered. And these are all, okay, so these are actually $14 for a gallon or a six inch pot. So all those that we saw inside that were in gallon pots or six inch pots are, are $14. So let's walk through here. You can see everything from like organ pipe cactus to, oh, this almost looks like a booby cactus. We've got really nice mammillaria. Mix of columnars, globular, fairly mature plants. Everything here is $14. So you can see these tables are all covered, but normally they're completely you know, another two tables full of gallon pots like this. We'll go around the corner to go look at some of the other outdoor plants to see what they have uncovered. Let's look at the other side of the table. They also have landscape plants. This might be Echino cactus engines, I think, where it turns, it gives these purple stripes when it's cold. But uh, they also have landscape plants that are in much, uh, these are gallon pots, so like three gallon, five gallon pots. Um, if they're uncovered, we'll walk over there and take a look at them, but I have a feeling that they're covered right now. So lots of mammillaria. Let's go see what they have in the other corner. They also have a really amazing garden that they've planted. It's kind of spread out throughout the property. I actually haven't seen all of it myself, but you can see like some examples here. These are the plants that they've planted in their ground. And it's really amazing. They also sell pottery. And I'm going to take you inside, and you can see they have a lot of uh, Talavera pots, too. Um, they have clay pots back there for sale as well. Let's see what they've got uncovered. Well, this big bowl, I guess, has been here for a long time. At least since I first came here, and definitely longer than before that. But look at this Agave Victoria Regine. How incredible is that? I want mine to grow like that. Take a look at what they have here. Ferro cactus. Different types of ferro cactus. Oh, chrysocanthus, but red spined. Robustus. So, like the regular Wislazeni is native to Arizona, but this has some variety to it that I'm not familiar with. All right, and then, oh, look at, look at what, oh, there's more over here. There's a lot of Echinopsis here, which have a lot of big, beautiful flowers. Mammillaria, ferro cactus, and then look at what they have here in the ground. It's beautiful. It's just all over the place on their property. Okay, I'm going to take you into the retail area.
Here's the collector's corner. They have some beautiful astrophytum, yes. like a lot of beautiful ones. These are all super kabuto. It's impossible to pick one out of this. So those have been taken off the some lift hops, five dollars a pot. So that one has been degraded. So it's going to be really more outside of the That's how you talk it. You can put it outside of the these are grafted. Okay, get ready for the astrophytum. These are their big, chunky hybrids. I think most of these are $75. These should look kind of familiar. Oh, that's so beautiful. This is really cool too. Some more astrophyte in here. Sorry, the lighting's the lights are coming in from the back, so it's a little dark. Astrophytum Asterius, these are $20 each. Got some Epithelantha, Micromeris here. Looks like little seedlings. this There's a lot of succulents here too. This side is a lot of their succulents.
Anybody need help here? I haven't been yet. Okay, you're ready here then? Right. Yeah, she's going to pop it for me. Oh, okay. Okay, you want to pay now then? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sends a area here as well, really pretty. These are so healthy looking. A bunch of graphs here as well. Thank you. 
So I think they have even more greenhouses, but a lot of those are for wholesale buyers. And over there, you can see there's a lot of plants that are on the ground out in the open, but they're a lot of, well, a lot of them, a lot of them are covered because of the winter cold, but, and there's two more greenhouses that um, they have here and customers are allowed to go in there, but I'm not gonna go in because I've been in there many times and it's usually a repeat of a lot of the plants that we already saw. But the next really cool area I want to take you to is to their collection house. And this is where they have a lot of their mother plants that they use for propagation. So um, none of the plants in here are for sale. They're all not for sale. But they have a really, really amazing collection and it's almost like a, a museum. So I'm going to take you through this. Let me pan it first so you can kind of get a feel of what we're about to see. And then let's walk through the tables. And hopefully I get to hang out in here by myself so I don't have to worry about running into other people or being in people's way. So let's start over here. Look at this Copiapoa. Probably a Heseltoniana, maybe. Ugh, incredible. I've been in here many times and it's really fun even, you can even notice some of the plants growing like if you keep coming back year after year. Look at these euphorbia. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's walk this outer part, and I'm just going to have to walk through this, because there's just so many plants. And then we'll walk the inner table. This is probably Mammillaria lenta. This is probably Bombacina, maybe. Ooh. Could this be Crucigera? Crucigera? I'm not sure.
I used to think of this space as a showroom. Like you would see plants in here that you want and then go into the retail area and look for them. <laughs> and I realized that not all these plants are available in the retail space. Okay, now let's go to the center table. Look at that Astrophytum ornatum. It's going like that in a greenhouse. Look at the Euphorbia obesa. There's another one over here. Look at this. It's an obesa. I think I saw some similar to that inside. Oh, I might take that home. Okay, I think this is definitely Crucigera. These are so expensive. Amazing. This is the place where I saw my first Areocarpus in person. And the first time I came here, I didn't even know what I was looking at. Take a look at these. And there's a few here that look like they're melting ice cream, Fissuratus. And I remember the first time I saw them, I took pictures because they were just so odd. And I had no idea what I was looking at at that time. So, Retusus, Fissuratus, Fissuratus, Retusus trigonus. These are all Retusus. This is probably a Retusus of some sort. Fissuratus. Did I point at that one already? Oh, look at that. That one. That's one of the ones that look like melted ice cream. Look at that. These are all probably Retusus trigonus, Retusus, Retusus trigonus, Retusus. Look. Oh, is that not amazing or what? It's a rhetorical question. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I hope I can get some of my plants to look like that someday. Incredible. Look at that ornatum. Oh my gosh. This is a astrophytum. Probably Maria Stigma. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tour of their showroom. Actually, it's their propagation greenhouse. Incredible, right? You can see that they have a lot of Talavera pottery available and I think if you buy a plant in a pot they may be able to pot it up for you. Let me show you some of these landscape plants at least the ones that are visible so you can kind of get an idea. They have just these much you know even larger plants more mature plants than the ones in the one gallon pots. These are probably two or probably three gallon is what I'm guessing. So these are $50 in a three gallon pot. 
You can see the styrofoam cups there on the ends of the columnars to protect them from frost. A little more of a group here. You can see. You can see they have even more greenhouses. Pretty much greenhouses everywhere.